happy black Thanksgiving. It's not just a Thanksgiving, it's a black media Thanksgiving. And it's deliberate, it's on purpose, it's planned. We are mourning. We are mourning with those who lost somebody. We are mourning with a woman right now who is crying and in grief because all her children are killed. We are mourning with that man who turns around and everything he's worked for is gone. Yes, we are mourning. We are mourning for the young man whose one limb was cut. We are mourning with those in Latu, Benue, Kaduna, Taraba, Zamfara, Enugu, and all over this country. We are mourning with those who died in Lagos on the, 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 the expressway between Ibadan and Lagos. Because if one dies, we all die. We mourn with them. We are mourning for a country that is being soaked in innocent blood. We mourn. We are mourning for a country that is not protecting or defending us. I don't know about you, but I walk around knowing that anything can happen to me, and if anything ever happens to me, nothing happens. Your life can be snuffed out from you in a jiffy, and nobody cares. So we mourn. So I come as a woman and as a mother. And I kneel before you, Mr. President, on behalf of the children, on behalf of the next generation that is being killed, on behalf of the peaceful Christians who do not do wish any harm upon this country, whom some people have sworn to sweep out of, the, of Nigeria on our behalf. We love our country. We have served this country. We are faithful and loyal persons. On behalf of all of us, I appeal to your sense of being a father. I appeal to your sense, sir, of being a grandfather. I appeal to your sense of being a decent Muslim man. Islam is peace. I appeal to that sense, sir. Islam cannot take the peace of somebody and be peaceful. I appeal to that sense, sir. I appeal to your sense of being a general who was trained to defend the country not a tribe, not a section, but a country. I appeal to that censor. I appeal to the fact that you are a general to stand up and do what you need to do. I appeal to the fact, and to me this is the indeed, this is the real thing, the fact that you are the commander-in-chief. Speak a word today. Give the army the permission today. Give the police the permission. Give the military, give everybody the permission and see if this nonsense doesn't stop in one day. So in Arokenka, Baba, kai baba ni, kai baba ni, baba, ba ubonde zey water the gidansa. Ina rokanka, fees bili lahi. In the name of God, the merciful, the most benevolent and the most beneficial, I plead with you, sir, in the name of Allah, whom you serve, stop this mayhem. You can do it, sir. It's in your power. May posterity not judge you, sir. As somebody who sat down and watched a whole nation collapse because you did not keep your word. Your promise to us was that you were for nobody and you were for all of us. I challenge you today to be for all of us. God bless you, sir.